Let's get into some trailers. Yes, the new Wonder Woman trailer. Uh, I don't need to see any more trailers. I'm already lukewarm about the movie, and every trailer after it has not changed my mind. Who Who's Wonder Woman? And uh, yeah. Who plays her? It's uh, uh, Gail Godot. Gail Godot. So um, this film is... Um, Every time that dumb music that's not comes a good at the pause. end. That's not a good pause. It's more... It's, I know we've said this before, and it sounds like a broken record, but DC has done very little to change this. DC right. keeps dropping the ball, and yeah. Marvel keeps releasing amazing things. Yeah. Yeah. I see the I see Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm so fired up. Yeah. I see the Wonder Woman trailer. I'm like, I don't need what to are see, they doing? I don't need to see another Guardians of the Galaxy trailer for the opposite reason. Like, no, I'm going. I'm I'm got, you got I me. I don't need you don't need trailer. to tease me anymore. Yeah. I'm in. And this is just like, I Another don't know. mediocre trailer. I'm like, okay, I get it. You know, like, oh, the, the sword doesn't go with the outfit. Yeah, got it. Funny joke. <laughs> Ha ha. Um, I like Gail Godot. I understand why they're really trying to push her as this action star. Yes. Because she's done all right in the Fast and Furious. She's good looking. She's athletic. She can. She can. Be, she could be a badass. Uh, she can be in uh, slow motion shots, which apparently, according to the trailer, is eighty percent of the film. It's just so. more that they're. I think. An incorrect thing has happened is they're looking at the money that was made from Batman and Superman and going, yep, we did this right. Ah, I can't imagine anybody's thinking that over there. All they're looking at <laughs> is the money, and that movie did make money, so they're like, we got it. We know yeah. what we're doing, and, and I don't— Too bad we can't get a Flash director, and uh, Ben Affleck doesn't want to direct the Batman anymore, uh, so— uh... We'll figure it out. Mm, and the thing, start over. What, what bothers me so much about this is if this movie is poorly done, then you're going to hear this, oh, women can't be action stars, I know, the, bullshit. It'll be the uh, the wrong lesson will be learned The totally once again. wrong lesson, which is like somebody put Gail Godot in a, in a good action movie. Right. Let her lead. She could, she could lead for sure. Yeah. Um, but don't let, like... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm well, still I don't, very. I, I mean, show, I, some, show somebody uh, scenes from Kill Bill when they yes, when they say women yes, can't do action. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. movie is the, both in, those. In fact, movies, maybe I'll just watch Kill Bill again. It's I would. Going, going, going to see just wear a Wonder so Woman outfit and right. watch Kill Bill, <laughs> which I do quite often, yeah. by the way, and I highly suggest it. Uh, while eating HelloFresh.com. So, yeah. <laughs> like that think, that's yeah. multi-tier marketing paul yes no it's <laughs> it's getting in there on a subconscious level that's synergy yeah <laughs> creepy synergy <laughs> but synergy crinergy crinergy <laughs> new buzzword crinergy uh speaking of crinergy the next uh trailer baby driver uh i this ha this movie has a lot of stars in it um, I, I don't know what to make of this trailer it, it's it's one of those movies where i'm like i like was it like Simon? Who directed it? It is. It is just Edgar Wright. Edgar, Edgar Wright. Yeah, it's Edgar Wright who I love. I, who wrote I love it? All, who wrote it? I love all the actors in it, but it just feels like, is this like a drive parody? What? What? What's going on with this movie? Well, like I, I really feel like the trailer is not telling me what this movie is. I'm going to assume that it's about an infant uh, who joins NASCAR. Yep, yes. you got it. That's <laughs> right, on the yeah. <laughs> right on the money. Right on the money. I'm going to put you into the wall. Go, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's really good stuff. That was that was my impression of the a babies, NASCAR yeah. driver, voiced by Kelsey Grammer. So, <laughs> <laughs> I I I saw this trailer ahead of when I saw Logan last night, mm. and um, I can't decide because it's the kid from A Fault in the Stars. Uh, but, but didn't it feel like you weren't getting the full story from the trailer? Like the trailer was put together by someone who either didn't see the the whole movie or uh, is trying to make it into something that it isn't. Yeah, because I did the same thing. I was like, "Oh, this is this is Driver. This is yeah." Or it's that that uh, the Gambler Mark the Mark Wahlberg remake of that James Con movie Gambler. Like oh. it felt like that. It felt like <laughs> yeah. Driver. I was like, but then I see uh, John Hamm in some quick scenes. Yeah. in the There's trailer. There's a ton of stars in this movie. Right. And it's like Kevin Spacey is the bad mobster. Right. I'm excited for that. He's yeah. like, well, it'd be a shame if that pretty girlfriend, you know, yeah. hurt herself or whatever. It's right. like, oh. But then. There's the waitress that falls in love with Baby. Right. The driver. And we find out in the trailer that Baby listens to music all the time because his eardrum has a constant ringing from an accident. So that drowns out the sound of the ringing. And that's why he's such a good driver. I was told that in the Boo. trailer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a really long explanation for a trailer. Uh, by the way, 
Don't you think most movies are ruined by an excess of stars? I can't think of a single movie where it helped uh, a movie. Normal, the I mad, think it... mad, mad, mad world. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going, <laughs> well, we got to go back 40-some years. Sure. <laughs> Because it, to me, it takes you out of the suspension of disbelief. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not watch Cannonball Run, Paul? Are you are you really <laughs> I'm talking about non Dom DeLuise <laughs> projects vehicles? <laughs> when is someone going to do a Dom DeLuise uh, film retrospective? Mm-hmm. No, I think that's a great point. Is especially when you look. At, all right, so so Kong Skull Island has a lot of stars in it, but what made that successful versus the ones where they they are typically failures like get these motherfucking apes off this motherfucking plane <laughs> oh right so it's just to make it about the action and it, it re- what it is is uh the thing about the stars in kong island the stars weren't the stars king kong is the star of that that's really the mm-hmm. big the biggest difference is you're watching name star actors um, and basically supporting roles around a giant monster. It's like Jurassic World. It's like, where did the star? Was Chris Pratt the, Pratt the star? No, the dinosaurs were the star. And you've already suspended your disbelief yes. by going to see that movie. Exactly. Whereas when it's a, you know, a solely live action thing right. um, where it's, it's supposed to be character driven, I think having stars in it just, it, it, it makes it harder for me if it's not a high concept thing. I, I agree with that because I think and again, I haven't seen the movie, but just from the trailer, I did that. I I went, oh, that guy looks like a badass. I went, oh, there's John Hamm. Right. And I like John Hamm. Like I know, right. him, I know him personally. I think he's a fine actor. Yeah. But I'm I wonder that thing of sometimes it is. I think you're right, Paul. It is a very tricky thing to to where you're not as the audience going, oh, there's this famous person, there's that famous person, right. versus when you have one or two leads, and then, I, I to me, I think you have to. You have to, if you're going to do that, I don't know, like it, it has to be like a handful or they have to be real supporting or they have to be. And that's what happened with Kong. I mean, right. really, it's like you have like John Goodman, Samuel Jackson, Brie, Brie Larson. They're all in this movie. But, you know, ultimately people are going to see King Kong. So no one is making their decision to see King Kong whether or not Samuel Jackson's in the movie or not. Now, however, when you have that caliber of actors surrounding you know, the giant monster movie, like with Chris Pratt and, and Jurassic World, it does elevate the film. It does because, oh, you know, it, it has that weird air of, like, giving it more um, um, validity. It's like, no, we're not just going to put a bunch of no-name actors around a, uh, a giant CG monster. We're putting actual actors in around all of these uh, CG effects. So it has that effect, but it's not like a, it's not like a make-or-break kind of thing. It's like every movie, I think, needs something that, that anchors it that you can lose yourself in, in a good way. Yes. And if it doesn't, I think the stars really, really work against a movie if it, if it hasn't established that. I think that's a great point. Right. I, I'm reminded of we're talking about Drive. Albert Brooks's character in Drive. Now, Drive didn't wasn't littered with big name, but it you know it had it had Ryan Gosling as the lead. Right. But then Albert Brooks was playing so away from who he was, but he did a great job. It wasn't oh, there's Albert Brooks trying to be a bad guy. You're right. This guy is fucking creepy. That's yeah. Albert Bro- Brooks, which to me is like yeah. amazing. Or like Brando in Apocalypse right. Now. Right. You, right. Or like when you watch Ben Foster in a movie, you never go, "That's Ben Foster." You go, "Oh, that's a creepy, intense dude." That, yeah, uh... <laughs> it's and it's not, that's a hard thing for a lot of actors to do. Some actors make their living kind of doing the same thing all the time, and I don't begrudge anyone for doing right. that. I mean, the most brilliant performances is the are the ones that you forget you're watching the actual actor. Right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think like a Tropic Thunder, perfect example of where you bring in a cavalcade. Uh, yeah, yeah. cavalcade of, of stars and it's a high concept and you just you buy into it and right. because that's part of the two is that in, within the, you're right within the concept is this is a big budget movie with a bunch of stars and big powerful agents you've already <laughs> yeah. suspended your disbelief yeah right and it should have stars in it that movie because you are going oh there's Tom Cruise playing the shitty agent because that's what you are kind of on board for yeah um I don't know. So I, uh, Wonder Woman and, and Baby Driver, I don't know. A couple of, I'm more inclined to see Baby Driver than Wonder Woman, personally. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not excited to see either. I, what, I, <laughs> what I'd like to see is uh, I, I'd like to see Edgar Wright's trailer 
for Baby Driver, and right. then I'll make, make an actual I'd decision. I'd like to see a it. movie called uh, Driving Miss Baby Wonder Woman. Yeah. And it's Wonder <laughs> Woman in 1950 when she's a child, and she's very privileged. And she gets driven around to crimes. I'm trying to drive stop. you to the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, okay. That sounds good. 